So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to make kind of a more advanced looking light, almost like an atmospheric looking light, that'll have kind of rays of light that are squeaking through. What I have here is kind of these trees and leaves. So uh, let's take a look. Um, so uh, first thing I need to do is uh, convert my paint effects to polygons. So I'm just going to select all these. I just painted this out. Uh, you can look at my previous videos on how to make uh, paint effects like this. But I'm just going to go to Modify, Convert, and I'm going to go to Paint Effects to Polygons. Okay, There. And um, when you change the polygons, it actually separates the items here where I could potentially lose the leaves on the trees if I wanted to. Now, I'll keep it there for now, but that is an option. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a light. So let's go under Arnold Lights, and I'm going to be looking for um, a mesh. Uh, no, so let's go with an area light. Okay, so the area light goes down in the origin point here. I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to just get that back. And here's my lights. And by the way, um, if you have a few lights in your scene, you don't want to have to find them. Uh, there is a quick button right here called Open Light Editor, and if you click on this, this will list every light that you have in your scene. So just another quick way of selecting a light would be to go over there. And let's get my move tool. It looks like I didn't select it. Let's see how that works. Click here, click on the light, close this out. Nope, I don't know, didn't select it. So let me get it here again. Um, so I'm going to move this up. I'm going to move this behind and I'll rotate that around so it faces. So it's gonna kinda be you're hitting down at it like this, a little bit of an angle. I'm also gonna, just easier if I make this bigger so I can see it a little better, I'm going to rotate that again a little bit more precisely. Okay. So I have this light and I'm gonna turn that off. To get this light working, what we're going to do, if I go Arnold Render, you're going to see I'm, I'm not really seeing anything yet. So uh, there's an intensity and an exposure, and by default it's very, very dim. So I'm going to go to 10 and 10 on the exposure and intensity and press Enter and Arnold Render. Now let's take a look at what that's looking like. Okay, so it's starting to come through. All right. Now, how do we turn that light, that same light, into kind of atmospheric rays? Well, I'm going to keep this open because I do want to see it happening as I do this. I'm going to go to the Render Settings button right here. And this is typically where we would use our Render Settings, but there's another tab over here called Arnold Renderer. And I'm going to go to the word Environment. And there's a word called Atmosphere with a checker box. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to create atmospheric, uh, atmosphere volume. Okay. Now it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I come over here, this dialog comes up in my attributes editor. And when I start sliding, and this is why it's important to keep this up, so we can see this happening as I slide up the density. You can see now that there's more of a atmosphere that's kind of. Um, that the light is kind of hitting maybe water particles in the air and allowing that light to kind of diffuse around the atmosphere. So I can move this up. I can also change this here, this uh, attenuation, and that kind of gives it a less intense kind of a look. And there's also this slider here. So there's a three sliders that you kind of want to look at. Samples is, is the quality of the light. So yes, you can do this. You can slide this up, but it's going to add render time. Um, but I, what I recommend is moving these sliders around to kind of get the kind of look that you're, you're going for. And I'm just going to see what happens if I delete these leaves. And you kind of see you get an interesting look. Uh, using this type of lighting. So um, give it a try, and uh, if you have any trouble, uh, let me know. Okay.